it's Falcons Nation. Today we're diving into one of the biggest blows in our team this offseason, losing the powerhouse and locker room leader, Calais Campbell. He lost him to the Miami Dolphins, damn it. Like, stick around because you won't believe the ripple effect that it will have on these Atlanta Falcons, in my opinion, as well as the effect it'll have for our new coach, Raheem Morris. Stay tuned. First things first, let's talk about the pass rush capability. Calais Campbell wasn't just a defensive player. He was our sack leader last season with 6.5 sacks. His ability to put pressure on the quarterback and disrupt the passing plays was nothing short of phenomenal throughout this past season and his entire career. Losing him means losing a cornerstone. Losing him means we lose our defensive strategies. And it, it doesn't stop there. Campbell was a beast in, in the run defense too. He was crucial in clogging running lanes and limiting our opponent's ground game. His presence on the defensive line was like a brick wall and a big one. He was an immovable and relentless object. Now without him, our run defense is going to take a significant hit and a step back. And how are we going to recover? That's going to be one of the million dollar questions. Look, Calais is versatile. We all know that Campbell's ability to switch between defense and defensive end and being the interior alignment gave the Falcons a tactical edge. His flexibility allowed us to adapt our defensive schemes on the fly, matching up perfectly against vigorous offensive opponents and their setups. With him gone, with him being in Miami, we're losing a key component to our strategic defensive playbook. Another important thing that Clay has brought was leadership and experience. Two invaluable assets that Campbell brought to the table for the Atlanta Falcons, and especially for Raheem Morris if he would have stayed. Look, as a seasoned veteran, his guidance and mentorship to the younger players were pivotal. He was the glue holding our defensive line together, providing football intelligence and instilling confidence in his teammates. This kind of leadership is irreplaceable and will be sorely missed by the team. Let's not forget his impact on the field, ladies and gentlemen. Campbell was a pillar in the community. He was engaging in charitable work and enhancing the team's reputation. This is one of the reasons he came to the Atlanta Falcons because of what Arthur Blank was doing in the community. See, losing him means losing a great ambassador for the Falcons. And that's one of the key features that we look for in the men we bring to the Atlanta Falcons. So what's next for the Falcons, ladies and gentlemen? With Calais' departure, we face major gaps in our pass rush, our run defense, and our leadership. It's a challenge that our new coaching staff under Raheem Morris will need to address head on. The question is, can we rise to the occasion this 2024-25 NFL season? Only time will tell. And Falcons fans, it's time for you to tell me what you think about losing Calais Campbell. Drop your thoughts in the comment below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates and insights about our beloved Falcons. Until next time, raise up, baby.